Welcome back to another crypto video. My god, one of these days I'll actually release a full song because that's the way you guys must wonder if I can actually sing by now. <laughs> anyway, that never gets old. Right, so what we're going to do is quick price update for synthetics, guys. We've seen a nice green candle over here on the daily time frame. So what's going on is we've got a big symmetrical triangle at the moment on the daily time frame for synthetics. We can see lots of resistance around here at $8, lots of resistance at $7.30 as well on this diagonal. So we've got the converging lines together. It means we're going to get a breakout to the upside or the downside very soon. On the bearish scenario, I can see that these wicks are quite long, which means there's a lot of selling pressure at those particular levels. We do have a lot of support, however, at $5.43. Now we could break to the upside or the downside. It's really actually kind of hard to say what could happen. It depends what the rest of the market decides to do. On the, the upside, I mean, if we do break out of big confidence and we come through the resistance levels over here at $6.45, $7.42, it is realistic that we can see a $10 synthetics over the next few weeks and months. But we could also break down and lose this support. Now, I don't think we'd come ever again as low as $2. I think the absolute lowest we're going to see synthetics come down again is going to be $2, uh, sorry, $3.30. And even then, very, very unlikely. We are in a brand new uptrend. So the most likely area if we do lose the support before bouncing back up is probably around this $4.86 level on this particular diagonal support trend line that we've got here. So we're above the bull market support band, which is this lovely kind of a ribbon green and red area, which means the sentiment is now bullish. We've had a really big bounce off the 20 day moving average, which is this pink trend line right here, which is a lagging indicator of the 20 day moving average. So things you know, they're looking pretty good for synthetics at the moment. And I do speculate that we're going to at least approach $10 quite soon um, over the next few days. I've been dollar cost averaging slowly but surely along these um, levels and especially on the four hour time frame when we're oversold on the RSI like here and here. I'm focusing on dollar cost average. If you do want to grab some um, synthetics today as well, guys, make sure you use the link down in the description below. And uh, yeah, I think really synthetics has got a long way to come. We've corrected 90% since your time high, but I'm preparing for the next take profit zones, which for me is going to be around probably the first area of resistance on the Fibonacci extension. So between nine and $13, I'll be taking back some profit slowly. I'm just holding in the market in my portfolio at the moment, waiting for these impulses to happen. Um, but yeah, big, big resistance at the moment, guys, around this $6.40 level, especially in this symmetrical triangle range. But very exciting to see what could happen. Do we think we're gonna break out to the upside or the downside? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Synthetics is trading at rank 79, massive, massive potential still 1.2 billion dollar market cap with a huge 230 million dollar trading volume so yeah really really bullish thought i'd just uh give a little update it's a bit of news as well on the adoption side the global adoption for cryptocurrency this is very big very big indeed central african republic adopts bitcoin as legal tender this is absolutely fantastic following in el salvador's footsteps it means that this is legalized and other countries may even follow in the footsteps. We know countries like India, you know, Philippines, Thailand, Africa, they like cryptocurrency. They want to use it to hedge against the future of inflation that is probably going to be coming our way. And um, yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. Adoption, always key, key news. Fear and greed index, just a little bit of an update in the market. We're sitting at 21. So it's a lot of fear to do a quick refresh. Yeah, we're sitting at 21. But fear does represent opportunity of undervaluation and perhaps even good dollar cost averaging um, opportunity as well. And on the crypto bubbles, we can see we're down 6.9% on the week for the crypto market cap. Yikes, you see my voice break. I just realized we're down to 38.9k. Um, so yeah, big volume for Bitcoin, down 17.5% on the month, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, you hold for three to five years, you're gonna win. You're gonna win. Anyways, thank you for supporting. Make sure you smash subscribe, like, comment on this video. Come say hello in the Discord if you want to receive some take profit zones, some DCA charts, as well as some leverage trading signals. And uh, yeah, just come say hello. There's about 200 people in here at the moment looking to grow the channel. It's completely free, no strings attached. Anyways, bye for now, guys. Leave suggestions in the comments. See you later.